That's right. There it is. The Alamo Apartments. The Alamo Apartments. That's where it all begins. That's how the show starts. Right there, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. That's right, a Tucson tour. Tucson movie tour, Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. Yep, so there it is. Ugly but honest, the Alamo Apartments. In the movie, they, had, uh, they superimposed like a billboard over top of it. And, uh, you know, in order to convey that this was a futuristic movie. Uh, I think it was made in 1991, maybe 1990, maybe 1989 is when they were filming it. But that's when it was made. But it was released in just uh, a couple years later. But it was supposed to be in the future, like 1996. And, and uh, it's just kind of funny that it was futuristic. It was poorly done as far as making a futuristic movie goes. But as a cult classic, it's awesome. And this is where it starts at that upper apartment up there when he's looking out the window. That Alamo sign in the corner of the building uh, is illuminated with neon and you can see fireworks that were superimposed going off. That used to be a Circle K convenience store and now is a florist. And uh, that's where the movie starts off. You're supposed to believe this is uh, somewhere in Texas. And then you run through all the rolling scenery. It's, it's pretty cool. If you're wondering about the location, I'm in Five Points, Tucson, Arizona. At Five Points. It's Five Points because of the five streets that intersect here. Kind of look like a giant chicken foot from the air. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Wait for this traffic to clear out and then uh, we'll get going. So one of the scenes in the movie, in fact, one of the breakaway scenes at the intro is this scene where they, they, they ride by this place that was supposed to be El Paso, I guess, but, and, and which is remarkable to me because El Paso does have some pretty remarkable landmarks. At the time, they had the giant Asarca. By the way, that's the Pima Air Museum. All those airplanes right there are preserved as a museum. Pretty freaking cool. We're going to have to hit that sometime. But in the movie, they pass by Tucson Electric Power. Now, it looks a little different nowadays because they've updated their coal elevators and they're also burning natural gas. But I'm getting ready to go over an overpass. There it is, Tucson Electric Power. <laughs> because uh, taking my little bike up on the interstate is not really advisable. Uh, it really, it's comfortable top speed is 60, 65. And the freeway here, people regularly run at, uh, at 80. So there it is. That's Tucson Electric Power. We'll get another pass by it here in just a minute. 
So over here you'll be able to see it a little bit better. And uh, there's the interstate up ahead, and that's actually the angle they took the picture, they took the image at, and they, they focused on the bottom of this sign right here that says El Paso. And so it leads the viewer to believe that they were in El Paso, Texas, but it, it was, to those of us here in Tucson, it was very clearly a uh, Tucson Electric Power Plant, which really is, it's a behemoth of a coal-burning power plant. Man, I surely hope that's not my bike that smells like that. I know I'm on the industrial side of town, but man, something really smells like burnt clutch. It could be the diesel from the train yards or all these factories and things like that. And it could be this. This is uh, quickly featured in the movie. And that is the Tucson gasoline transfer station, right? So this gasoline transfer station, people don't realize this, but Tucson, Arizona has some of the cheapest gas in the country. And I just can't get the bird's eye view of it that they could in the uh, in the opening scenes from the movie. But uh, Tucson sits on one of the major gas lines that runs through the United States uh, from the refineries in other states like Texas. And as a result, uh, we have some of the cheapest gasoline in the country, um, in part because there's not a lot of, uh, there's fewer regulations in most of Arizona for fuel additives and things like that, so the, the cost isn't driven up there. But in addition to that is that the, um, the, the fuel pipe sits right there, and that's a transfer station where they transfer to uh, tanker trucks and transport it elsewhere. So there's not as much cost involved in transporting gasoline to stations, uh, service stations around Tucson as there is in other areas. So, just a little nugget of information. So there's this scene once Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man get together, right? And they come up here and they stop at that traffic light right there. Now that traffic light is Alameda and Stone in Tucson, Arizona. And some of these more old fashioned street lamps, they covered them up with like these canvas towers so that uh, they would look futuristic. But they called this downtown Burbank, all right? They're supposed to be in Southern California. And when you watch the movie, you can see the facade of those buildings right there. That's the Pioneer Hotel, which if you guys remember the Pioneer, um, I did a video on that. I'll go ahead and insert the link now. There's the Pioneer Hotel. You can see the facade of that older building down there that's brick and uh, with the masonry up at the top. Yeah, and right there, a Concorde flies between the two and they look at each other and make a joke about how Burbank got turned into an airport. <laughs> but that scene was filmed right here in Tucson, and this is just a mile or so uh, north of Five Points where the Alamo Motel was. So we'll go ahead and ride through. We'll look right at that traffic light where Harley and the Marlboro Man stopped and talked to each other. So what's funny is you can very clearly see these two buildings right here and the brick one up here because they were so close and the way the frame was cropped you couldn't get much of the pioneer however this building right here used to be a walmart <laughs> or not a walmart but a walgreens so that was a walgreens and that sort of this is the intersection that they were looking at now oddly enough there's a follow-up scene that takes place on this road and because it's uh it's a one-way street now. I have to go back. But there's the brick building I was telling you about that you see the Concorde fly right past it. 
<laughs> obviously it wasn't Burbank and this isn't an airport and so that follow-up scene looks like this right so Marlboro man gets a hold of Harley Davidson's motorcycle and decides he's gonna blow off some steam so he decides he's gonna blow off some steam so he rolls up on this motorcycle cop and what looks like to me is someplace other than Tucson, Arizona, but through movie editing, slip editing, and magic, you can't quite tell. But when he does, he catches up to the motorcycle officer, pops a big old wheelie on that Harley, pulls up next to the motorcycle cop, and gives him the bird. So then the chase is on. And where are they chasing him? Right down this street. So it starts on some other street but when it's edited and turns around for all the close-ups they are on this street right here and they ride right past the Pioneer Hotel the difference is is back then this was a two-lane this was a two-way road in Tucson they've changed a lot of the streets downtown to one way in order to ease congestion and this building wasn't here that building wasn't here that building wasn't here this building wasn't here back then there were uh, other older one and two story buildings or in this case a dirt lot over here and a warehouse right there so they come zipping down this street and they head towards an underpass now the underpass they took And this is why I say it was Tucson, because the facade of this building is very, very telling. I mean, it's, yeah, you, you recognize the building when you see it. But was supposed to be the 4th Avenue underpass, which it, it was the 4th Avenue underpass that they used. However, uh, the 4th Avenue underpass that they pass under uh, no longer exists. Uh, it was destroyed here and rebuilt with uh, more modern effects to it because uh, the train and the new trolley and everything that goes underneath there. So they had to change it up. But fortunately for us, here in Tucson, we have a couple of more of these. I think this is a four-way, yeah? So we're going to simulate that run by riding through the 6th Avenue underpass, which isn't quite as big, but in the movie, they ride down here, the motorcycle cop stays in the lane, and Don Johnson, the Marlboro man, hops up on the sidewalk. So they're looking at each other, riding through here. And of course, he's on the sidewalk, and when he comes off, of course, he does a big jump right here. And they land and they take off. Uh, no regard for this stop sign from the two of them. It was shameful. And of course, Stone has their underpass that looks an awful lot like the 6th Avenue underpass, but neither of which were exactly the same as the 4th Avenue underpass where it was actually filmed. Motorcycle chase as wild as it was, ends up taking you to a place that in Tucson wasn't very developed before uh, when that movie was being made, which I'm guessing is why they chose to do it. And that is this outdoor mall known as Encantada up here in Tucson. And it's on hills, so it'd be real easy to ramp. Uh, at the time, it was not quite developed. We'd like to share the road. So there would have been plenty of room to do things up here on a late night when nobody's here and, and cause um, little issues or a few issues, right? So you see them and they come right through here next to the Crate and Barrel. I mean, all this stuff has been paid in cents, but they come right by the Crate and Barrel. They hop up. I'm not going to, of course. But they hop up right over here. They get inside the, the foot mall there. And of course they run through in front of a bunch of stores and it's a wild, wild car chase. Or I should say motorcycle chase. And then, because it's uh, movie magic, 
they end up magically back downtown again. And of course, where does that car chase end? That car chase ends in a neighborhood just like this one right here. And this is pretty close to downtown, but a lot of the stuff is gated off now. And they roll into one of these tight spots in front of one of these uh, partially enclosed garages. And that's when you find out, right over here, and that's when you find out that the cop, the motorcycle cop, is actually Don Johnson's uh, former girlfriend. <laughs> so they start blowing off steam together. Things look a lot different. And of course, where the movie ends? Over here at Amarg. The airplane graveyard. That's right. So, they have several scenes here at Amarg, but this is the scene where, uh, where the big shootout at the end happens. And it's a big deal. But the funny thing is, is they really made it seem like uh, the entire movie was supposed to take place in, with the exception of the beginning, was supposed to take place in the Los Angeles area, and that's just, uh, that's just not the case. You guys might remember... You guys might remember the uh, AMARG from one of my really early vlogs. Those of you that were with me... Uh, a couple years ago when I was first doing this and I brought the infield out here to the uh, airplane graveyard here in south, uh, the southeastern part of Tucson, Arizona. So I'll go ahead and link to that video because it's an old video. I'm not even sure it has a hundred licks on it yet. Um, and it was before I had <clears throat> uh, most of the subs that I have today. So there's likely a lot of you that don't even know about that video. I do these little tours of Tucson uh, quite often. So anyway, this is where Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man uh, get into their big shootout with uh, one of the Baldwin brothers. And, you know, anytime you get to see one of the Baldwin brothers uh, take it to the head... I shouldn't say that. That's mean. Uh, anyway, it was an enjoyable movie and, and with an enjoyable result at the end. So, uh, but this is this is where it was filmed. And there's been several movies that were filmed out here. There was a movie called The Wraith. Part of it was filmed out here. Um, there was another movie called uh, My Science Project that was filmed out here. And. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of others. We'll discover those at later times. I'm going to go ahead and get off the pedestrian path before I get to the intersection. <laughs> I'm going to capture a little bit more video of it. So much like the movie itself, this is going to conclude our nickel stop tour of the Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man movie tour of Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Rob, this one's for you, bud. This one's for you. Squeeze the trigger. Harley. Don't yank it. Suck your dick. Squeeze.